Yo, what's going on? What is going on? Let me push this back a little bit, mas. A little bit more. If you don't know Espanol, I don't even know Spanish, guys. <laughs> Literally, I'm not playing with y'all. I took a Spanish um, in high school. I took it three years in a row. I failed every single year. And then I'll just, <laughs> I could not pass Spanish. And I was like, screw it. I'm gonna go ahead and just do sign language instead. Passed it. I forgot everything I learned in sign language. Like, I literally forgot everything. I can't even do my name. Anyways, what's going on, everybody? Um, I hope you're having yourself a great day. I'm having myself a great day. I just got out of a cold shower, and I went for three minutes this time, which is, like, big for me, because I just started three days ago. I, I, I just started three days ago um, doing the cold shower, and uh, doing cold showers, and I started at like 60 seconds. I said I'm gonna do 90, couldn't do it. Next day, I mean, the next time I did 90, and then after that, I did a little bit under 90, and then just right now, I did three minutes. I was like, oh my God, freaking mind blowing. Guys, if you do not take cold showers, take them. The amount of energy you get from cold showers is stupid ridiculous. It's stupid ridiculous. Okay, anyways. Yes, Mark, I totally understand that comment. And I understand and I appreciate anybody's feedback 100%. Um, because I know that this headline definitely is stirring some emotions in people. And I know not just the headline itself, but I know the, uh, the topic itself. Because Mark hit on something that I was very, that Mark just hit on something that's very, very important for me to discuss before I even dive into why this is truly one of the greatest things that's happened to us as a species. So first and foremost, I understand that I'm gonna get a lot of like um, shit for this, just, put it just to put it bluntly. I know I'm gonna get a lot of shit for this. Like I'm already getting a little bit in the comments, all right? Although Mark's not giving me shit. He's just like saying, bro, come on, they got people die. I understand. By the way, um, this is, if you are not watching this on the podcast and you wanna see the video, go ahead and hop on my Facebook and you'll see it. If you're watching on live and you're not listening to my podcast yet, Go look up the Mind and Muscle Show and you'll find it. Right now, me and Spotify are kind of going at it right now. I'm trying to get them. I was on Spotify. I'm trying to get back on there. Okay. Anyways, though, here I am. So I understand that this is an extremely touchy subject. Okay. I've, I've had plenty of family members get COVID. I literally have a family member right now fighting in the hospital. Um, I've had, I mean, I can't even tell the amount of clients got it. I mean, it, it's, it's crazy when I look at the amount of clients that have gotten COVID. I've, I've had a lot of clients who've gotten COVID. Uh, there's been a lot of people that have been seriously impacted that I personally know that have seriously been like crushed by this virus. So, I understand, trust me when I say I'm coming from a place of full, full awareness of the pain that this virus has caused on, who do he say? He said what? 400,000 people died, right? 400,000 people have died so far. And not just that many people have been affected. I mean, everybody worldwide has been affected. Um, in fact, when somebody that I really looked up to passed away because of COVID. So I understand where people are coming from when they are um, upset or defensive or anything. So I, I'm looking at this from both perspectives. I've been hit financially because of COVID. Like, I personally have not, like, got COVID. Even if I did get COVID and let's say it turned it up being the worst thing, you know, like the worst thing happened, I still can't argue against the fact that this is not the, this is not one of the most essential things that should be happening right now. So where I want to come at with this is I'm not looking at, I'm not saying this is the best thing for me as Adrian or Dylan as Dylan. This is not the best thing for Mark Bay. This is not the best thing for all of the individual person, the people that have passed away. 
I'm not saying this is the best thing for a person. So this is where I'm going to get like real here. The word person, and I've touched on this before. Actually, I think I put in my post yesterday or a couple of days ago. The word person comes from the Latin term persona. Persona comes, persona, it translates as the false mask. So as a personality, as a person who has thoughts, beliefs, um, assumptions, prejudices, um, whatever. As a person, this may not be the best thing that you may be experiencing. It may have had a lot of negative impact on your life. I, I, I get that. What I'm talking about though, is this is for that awareness behind that person. Like how do you know you even exist? Like how do you know that your name is Mark or Carlos or Austin or Dylan? How do you know that's your name? <laughs> and just sit back for a second and ask yourself, how do I even know that this is my name? Because you're aware of it. There is a level of awareness that's always happening. Even when you go to sleep, that awareness is there. There's always an awareness here. Always. That's what you really are. And that is who this is for. Or what this is for, because not really a who, right? So I know this is already getting woo-woo. Screw it, I'm not holding anything back. I'm gonna be just as honest as I can possibly be. If you look at the reality of reality, if you look at the macro picture, right? This makes sense. But if you're looking at this in terms of me, in terms of she, he, they, them, if you're looking at this moment now, it probably doesn't make much sense that something like this can be good for us. But if, you, if you're willing to give this a listen, if you're willing to open your mind to different perspectives, I strongly encourage you to just hear me out. If not, by all means, please, right? Like I've already gotten shit from family members by me just posting earlier, I was gonna do this. So I know I'm gonna get shit, I know. And I'm, I, I receive all of it and I appreciate all of it. I make space for all of it. I make space for you to share your opinions. If you have any opinions, please drop them in the chat. But the thing is, when we're looking in terms of the big picture and thinking about the entire what's actually real is there is a consciousness here. There is a awareness that's always present no matter what, right? And think about it. If you want to like kind of locate where this awareness is, just pay attention to where your thoughts come from or where your breath comes from and where it goes to, where it goes back to. Like if I take a breath, it's not if I if I inhale if I inhale there's not an automatic exhale. Like if I inhale there's not an automatic exhale. I inhale there is a gap of just quiet space, and then the breath comes out, and then I exhale. I inhale there's a gap, and then I exhale. That that's what you are. Now when you're looking and when you're focused on that. I want you to kind of detach yourself from, from not detach yourself, but kind of like see if you can create a space in between everything you think you are and everything that's aware of what you're thinking. See if you can just make that, that, that space there and hold yourself here and listen to what I'm saying. This had to happen. Whether it was coronavirus, whether it would have been something else, whether coronavirus didn't happen, something else would have happened. 
no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Whether coronavirus happened or not, something, something had to happen. Like, are you gonna hate Vetti? Vetti? I'm not Vetti. I hope I'm saying it right. But, like, look, look at this, all right? Do you really think the universe doesn't know what it's doing? God damn it, Vet, Vetti. I hope I'm saying your name right. You are so freaking right. I love you, okay? I don't even know who you are, really, but I love you. I love everybody watching. I literally, everybody. I love all of you. But, let's return back to what I was saying. Look at the universe. Like, do you really think this universe doesn't know what it's doing? Do you really think that this universe did this by mistake? Like, do you really, really think this universe is stupid? I mean, like, if you live by the Newtonian model of, like, the matter model of, like, no, we're just physical. Us and the universe, we're different. The universe is out there. We are, like, here. We're separate. If you're looking at it like that, yeah, the universe looks pretty stupid because, uh, I mean, it, it can't think. But pick up a leaf and tell me that the universe doesn't know what it's doing. Pick up a leaf. Pick up a leaf, literally a leaf. Look at the, like, really, I, I don't know if you've ever, I've looked at a leaf for at least an hour straight. Like, I picked up a leaf and I would just stare at it like, what in the world? Look at a leaf and tell me that something intelligent isn't at work always. And human beings can argue with me and say, well, we created this. We created this. We created this. We created this. So we're the intelligence here. But try to create dirt. <laughs> try to create dirt. Try to create like a legitimate leaf. Okay? So, the universe knows what it's doing clearly. Clearly. You can't tell me that this is not some intelligent ass whatever the heck this is. Like, if you're watching the replay, pause the video and just look. Just like, look around. Like, even me holding this freaking jug of water. What in the hell? Like, how did any of this freaking happen? Like, look at yourself in the mirror and be like, oh my God, I'm really in this bitch. Like, I'm really freaking here. Like, oh my God, I'm really freaking here. Clearly, there's a very intelligent, I don't want to say being or somebody, because there's not a person that created the universe. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> there's not a freaking person who has hands and fingers and, like, come on. But if, whatever you believe, like, I'm not crushing on, I'm not stepping on anybody's belief. You have the right to believe whatever you want to, whatever you want to believe. That's your complete freedom. But do you really think that the way we've been living before this virus happened? Do you think that was sensible? Do you think that made any fucking sense the way we lived before this? And I'm saying we have literally a species here. Like tearing down complete environments, complete forests to put a factory there. Think about your, 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 your fruit or your vegetables, that piece of corn that had to be raised over there. And then it was on a truck to an airplane to a boat, to another truck, and then back to the grocery store. Like, just pause and look. The amount of babies we're freaking having, for one, it's freaking ridiculous the amount of kids we're having. This is why like, I myself am not, am not interested by the leaf-bitten children right now at least. Um, 
Um, like, look at, uh, I mean, just, come on, guys, politics. I'm not even going to touch on that too much, but politics, which basically runs a lot of it. But look at politics. Look at the, look at our the way we consume. Look at the way we eat, the kind of foods we eat, the things we do. Like, especially, look at entrepreneurs. If you're an entrepreneur here, this definitely applies to you. Look at the way you work. I know I came from this whole, I started in entrepreneurship in the grind mode, boy. I'm talking the most I clocked in, and this is on paper, 103 hours in a week. I mean, I'm talking no freaking rest whatsoever for myself. I was kidding myself. Look at the way we've been living. If we keep this up, and we're still not out of it, we're still in the shitter when it comes to the way humans live like with all the especially the whole baby thing guys like the baby thing that's a huge huge problem like all these kids <laughs> anyways if we keep going the way we're going do you seriously think mankind has another 50 hundred years in it do you really think that humans can go another 100 years with the way shit's going right now and has been going? This virus, I, I don't, again, what you believe, you believe, please continue believing what you believe. That's your right. But... The outside unit, what's, what's outside is always a reflection of what's going on inside. No, there's no way around it. We create this entire universe. The universe wouldn't be here if there was no awareness to look at it. We create the universe. We do. Everything is experienced inside of a consciousness. Everything. The, the, like you're hearing my voice in your own mind. <laughs> All right? So there is a... It's so hard to put this into like practical community, like language to communicate with. But everything is chosen. Like you being born was chosen before you were born. The consciousness knows when it's stepping in to a physical body. It knows. Like, all of the most horrible shit you can think of, everything has been chosen. Everything. You may not, you just, I mean, it's, it comes down to a fact of like becoming aware of things like these. Becoming aware of things like these. But the universe was not going to let this virus, us, Ruin planet Earth. We never start, we never thought to stop and kind of reflect and look at the way we actually live. We've been getting sign after sign after sign, though, to stop, pause, and look and observe and, and, and analyze if this is truly the best way that we can, the best thing that we can be doing, the best way that we can be living. So it was forced upon us. It was completely forced upon us to stop, pause, reflect, and analyze whether this fucking makes sense the way we're doing shit. Like, guys, I'm talking about myself too. Like, I'm not talking about you as like, if like I'm, I'm some kind of God just up here, like I'm good. I'm talking about myself too. Like the way I accumulate shit, I like buying a lot of shit. 
Right? I like, but I don't want to grow all my plants. I want to go to the grocery store and be able to get vegetables and fruits whenever the hell I want. But is this really going to last us, guys? It may not be the, COVID may not be the best thing. It may have not been the best thing for your finances. Guys, I took a financial hit. And I'm over here talking about this being one of the best things that ever happened. I have a family member fighting for their life. I've lost friends. I know people who've died. Like, I know a lot of people who passed away due to this virus. That I personally knew. But I'm looking at the species. I'm looking at mankind, which I have a deep, deep love for. Because I love every one of you. And I want your, I want like... Your generations to continue. This is why I'm talking about this. This is why it actually matters. This is why this makes sense. Like I look at my little nephew Vinny. I don't have a kid so I can't reference my child. But I look at my little nephew Vinny. And now my, 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 my nephew Aiden. I look at my little cousins. I look at them and I'm like. Oh my God, like, your kids aren't going to make it. Like, at the rate we're going, I can pretty much guarantee my nephew who's nine years old, if he has children, they won't, they won't be able to, like, last. We do not have another 100 years in us. We don't. We do not have any more time to be living the way we're living. So the universe literally, us, what we really are, said, fuck it. We're going to have to put something in place. So we forced them to stop, pause, reflect, analyze. Is this the best? Absolutely not. Let's change how we're going to start doing things. Like I'm changing the way I'm living my life. I'm slowing down on some things. The way that I work out, guys, I work out horrendous. Like, like my body gets it the way that I lift weights. I'm like, dude, that's, Adrian, yeah, you look good right now, bro, but do you want metal plates all over your body, girl? I mean, like, when you're, when you're 50 years old, man, I got to watch the time because I have a, I have a call coming up here. But, um, like, I'm looking at my life and I'm looking at the way I eat and I'm looking at the way that I live and just, just everything I do. And I'm like, is this the most conscious thing for me to do? Because I'm not thinking about me anymore. I'm not thinking about Adrian as the person, the person, as the bundle of thoughts, emotions, beliefs, prejudices, assumptions. I'm not looking at that. What I'm looking at is mankind. Like, yo, are we even gonna, is my little nephew gonna be okay? I know I'll be able to, like, live until my, 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 my time is gone. Until, like, the, you know. But, like, yo, yo, my little nephew. Like, are, are, are they gonna be good? Are they gonna be able to make it? Fuck no, not with the way we've been living. Because it's not, it's not sustainable at all. Like, look at the plate of food you have in front of you right now. Or when you eat later and ask yourself, man, is this the, the way that this, from, for, from the starting point of this being on my plate, is this actually good for the earth? It's not. That way, that, like, you know, like Joe Biden, he's about to like pull some stuff on, on oil. It's going to, it is going to impact a lot of people financially. A lot. But it just makes sense for the environment. Like, stop thinking about you. Stop thinking about Glenn, about Dean, about Jesus, about Luz, about, about um, Dean. I mean, like, stop thinking about you. Start thinking about Everybody. Start thinking about like 
your, your, your grandchildren of children. I just, just, oh man, this is like stirring up an emotion in me right now. Cause like, I'm so like passionate about like you guys <laughs> and like making sure you guys have a, a real good life. That's why I do what I do because I want people to feel and feel good in their bodies, look good in their bodies, and be able to express themselves. And I want, whew, I want my nephew to be good, right? I want his children to be good. I want Glenn's children, children's children to be good. I want Jesus' children's 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 to be good. And because of that, this is why I'm like going against what a lot of you guys probably believe. Or I don't want to say I'm going against, because I'm not. I'm offering another perspective. I'm offering another possibility for you to kind of pause and just look around. What we're doing is not sustainable, guys. Like, if we're gonna, like, do something, like, meaningful, let's not fucking destroy this planet. Let's not destroy ourselves, like, entrepreneurs, like you guys. Like, look at the way you work. Like you working all of the hours you work, is that is that good? I mean, like guys, I clocked in 103 hours, the longest I've worked ever. I worked one day straight, 17 hours. I'm not. I mean, when I say straight, I'm not talking workouts. I'm not talking. Um, I'm not counting anything outside of like legit revenue sh or, or anything with the company. But um. Okay, guys, I have a little bit more time because my homie just, I have a, somebody I role play with every day in terms of sales. You guys in the sales world, you get it. Um, but yeah, guys, just like really look around and I, I am, I am, I am taking into consideration your family members, your friends, even you who have suffered because of this. All right, like Arnold and Suits, if you guys joined a little bit late, please go watch the beginning so you can kind of like understand where I'm coming from. I know this is a hard time. All right, again, I've, I've had family members who've had it. Family members fighting right now. I've had clients, oh, so many clients have gotten the virus. It's crazy when I look at the amount. I've had clients get this virus. I've like I, I I don't know if I ever got it because I've never showed sickness or anything. Maybe I was like asymptomatic, but I've been around people who've like 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 yo <laughs> like we've been we're pretty close and you ended up having it. You know I even if I do get it and let's say I end up dying because of it, that's not gonna change my mind around why this actually makes sense, on why this actually needs to happen. Just zoom out of you. <laughs> and just think about the totality of this. This is a universe, it's a universe, one song. One, every one of us, me, Hector, Anna, Jose, Arnold, um, oh, Jose, what's up, brother? Glenn, you know, that, all of you guys. Like, we're not different. Although we look separate, there is an energetic tie in between all of us. That's exactly why you see somebody break their arm and you're like, oh my God, that hurt my arm. Or you see somebody do something sweet and you start crying. There's an energetic tie in between every one of us. Let's start acting like it. 
Let's start focusing on other people. Let's start helping other people. And this, this virus is what, what was needed. It's what was needed, regardless of what it did to you personally. This was needed. And if you feel completely, completely different about this, like if you are, if you don't, if you're just completely against everything I'm saying here or anything, you can express that to me. Like, don't hold that in. Like, for your own energy, please express that. For your own health, express your energy. Comment below what you think. Right? You could message me if you want to have a conversation, dialogue about this. But just at least be willing to look at this from a higher perspective. Not a higher. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. You can say higher. But um, yeah, guys. So now I got to go get on my role play call. But I hope that this helped you guys out. Like, I really do hope that. You came in being like, hold on, Agent, what the fuck are you talking about? And now you're like, oh, you know what he is. It makes sense. Um, I hope that this changed some kind of perspective in you or something. And if you feel like you know somebody who needs to see this, um, definitely please uh, tag them in here. If you enjoyed this today, comment value. If you got, I mean, like an ounce of value, any value from this, just comment below value. I like having like conversations with people. And um, if you're watching the podcast and you, you, you love this stuff and you want to share this stuff and you like helping people, you know, definitely like, I mean, not like. If you're watching the video, like, tag your friends, all of that good stuff. Hit me with some hearts. If you are um, watching the replay, hit re hashtag replay. But if you're watching, if you're on the podcast, please like, I mean, um, rate, share, subscribe. Um, it really does um, like help me get some feedback from you guys, okay? Anyways, love all of you like infinitely, never, ever finite.